Hello folks, welcome to the second part of the React Native Messenger application demonstration video series. In today's episode, I am going to explain you about the sign-in process. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the demonstration. As you could see, I already got my AVD booted up like this. So this is the user interface of our sign-in screen. Since we have already made an account in our sign-up video, let's sign in with it. First, I am inserting my mobile number, then my password. Now I am going to click on this button to finish the sign-in process. Okay, now we are getting a nice welcome message like this. After the sign-in process, our app has navigated us to the home page. Since I am going to explain to you about the home screen in the upcoming video, let's get into the coding part of the sign-in process. Now we are in VS Code and as you could see, this is the sign-in.js file. As you could see from the top of this JS document, I am importing various React hooks like this. Then I have imported this third party installed React hook font awesome. Then inside this sign in function, we use set constants for our inserting credentials. Then we define their use states like this. Then inside this UIJS constant, you can see the design of our UI components. Then by clicking on this continue sign in principle, we are continuing our sign in process. That starts this asynchronous function sign in process. Inside that function, we are encoding our inserted login data into JSON. Then we are appending that into this form data and sending it to the PHP side. As you could see, we are sending our request to the PHP side using the POST method like this. If the PHP side has a code, the message is invalid, this is giving us an error alert like this. If that wasn't the case, we are setting an async storage item to store login data. After that, this is giving that welcome alert like this. Then this is navigating that logged in user to the home screen. Then finally, I've done the stylizing part of our UI like this. All right, now let's get into the PHP side. First, from top of this signin.php file, we are getting the JSON encoded login data. Then we are decoding that JSON encoded credentials. Then from our database, we are checking out whether there is a user with that mobile number and that password. If there wasn't a user with those credentials in our database, this is giving us a message as invalid. If that wasn't the case, this is giving us a message as success. Then from here, we are encoding our received message into JSON. Then finally we are echoing it like this. So that's all for today's episode folks. See you in the next video. Bye.